Next time I tell you to shut up. I didn't hear you tell me to shut up. Too subtle for you? Well, for once, yes. W would you hear me out? Carter? Mm -hmm. Our standing orders, what are they? To seek new allies and procure technologies to aid in the defense against the gold. And have we carried out those orders? We came here to help them. Is that not what we are doing, Daniel Jackson? No, I, their whole world is in flames and we're offering gasoline. How is that help? We are, in fact, offering water. Thank you. I was speaking metaphorically. Well, stop it. It's not fair to Teal. Decisions made. This mission has never had anything to do with helping them, has it? We came here to help ourselves. Carter, take Daniel back with you. Tell him and we struck a deal. Yes, sir. You don't give a damn what's going to happen to them. You want their technology and you're, you're taking advantage of their situation. Yes, I am Daniel. They're getting something they want. We're getting everything we want. I don't have a problem with that. Carter! We're on our way, sir. This conversation isn't over. No, oh, you're right, Daniel. It's never over with you. It's always the same damn thing. This has got nothing to do with me. Do you even realize what they're offering? At what price? Oh, for crying out loud. Where are you going? To see what I can do to help. Sir, Colonel O'Neill has negotiated access and availability to virtually every advanced Urundan technology in exchange for an unspecified quantity of heavy water. That's all they want? That's all. What do they want it for? Thank you. Thank you for asking the question. As you know, sir, heavy water contains deuterium. Which can be used to make nuclear weapons. Yes, but they use it to fuel nuclear fusion generators. Fusion? According to Alar, the additional power would be enough to stave off defeat. They're willing to share that technology as well? Of course, they're willing. They're desperate. Yes, sir, everything. And it is incredible. They are at least 100 years ahead of us, maybe more. But if we don't act soon, they are going to be overrun. Sergeant Sally? I'll get right on it, sir. Doctor, you don't approve. You said yourself that we could not and would not devote the resources necessary to win a war. Obviously, I was speaking in terms of committing military assets, human lives. But there was a moral issue. Yes. But if we can provide the power of all that and more in the form of water, then the moral issue just evaporates? I shouldn't have to remind you that Apophis is alive and at present capable of wiping us from the face of this earth without contest. It is the mandate of this organization to make sure that doesn't happen. I understand that. I do. We've only ever seen one side of this. Do we even know why they're fighting? For their lives. Yes, yes, and I was all for saving those lives, but we're about to go way, way, way beyond that. We're about to turn the tide of a world war that we know nothing about against an enemy that we know nothing about. Is that the right way to get their technology? Yes, but is it the right thing to do? It's a fair question, sir. Yes, it is. 